Wake your lazy ass up, Eddie. You know I never sleep, Mr. Court. You moving something tonight? Eh, uh, maybe. See anybody in Lab 4? All quiet. I didn't let anybody in, just like you said. Good man. Appreciate that. Problem? Hey, yo, Eddie. Got something on your shirt. I love it when they do that. The bar is now open. Come on. Move along. Let's take the building. Hey, you! Mr. Quartz. We thought we heard gunfire. Oh, don't worry. It's just a false alarm. <sighs> Thanks. All right, come on, let's go. Set the timers for five minutes. including Stevens Corporation head of security, Jeff Court. Federal officials investigating the case promised swift and forceful reprisals for the deadly incident. In the meantime, Buck Stevens and NASA are determined to launch the world's first anti-missile laser satellite. Dr. Kevin Thomas, designer of the system, believes it will end war as we know it. This weapon is not designed to kill human beings. It's designed to kill other weapons. It's designed to kill wars. <laughs> Oh, shit. Mac, Steven's core. Two. This is Agent Taylor. Agent Taylor, good morning. Frank Ewing, Steven's core. What can I do for you? I've been trying to get through to your office for the last day and a half. I'm a busy man, Agent Taylor. Thunderstrike launches in 24 hours. I am up to my ass in federal investigators, and I lost a lot of good men in that explosion. I mean, no disrespect, Doctor. 
but our agency's been assigned to overall security in this project, and I don't appreciate being shut out on the investigation. According to Washington, your agency's involvement doesn't begin until we fly to the Pacific for further testing. So until that time, I trust you will inform us of any possible overseas leads regarding this terrible attack. I'll kiss my ass. Hey, you break it, you buy it. Sorry, Sam, we're just spinning our wheels here. Owen Cantrell has surfaced. Late last week in Moscow. Cantrell? Yeah, ex-Marine colonel turned arms dealer. Haven't heard from him in a while. You think he's the connection? Well, the most powerful weapon in history is about to be launched into space. A lot of unsavory characters might pay a great deal of money for that. Now, if I was in the market, I'd go to Cantrell. Somebody needs to tell Buck Stevens. Do either of you guys own a good suit? Two scotches, straight up. And uh, mine's a fruit juice, thank you. I'm in no mood to celebrate. You need to get a new suit. <laughs> Look who's talking. We need new bank accounts. Women appreciate a good luck. Think about that. I think I'm not interested, Mac. Well, men appreciate a good look, too. What? You've got to get on with your life. It's been three years since you lost him. As it happens, partner, it's been three years to the day. Ethan, if you want to talk about my wife and son, why don't you do it on your own time and without me? Cheers. I was just trying to get him laid. You know, I don't want to argue, Kevin. I want to get drunk. Double vodka rocks, please. I'll set everything up with Buck. Big office right here in L.A. All you have to do is say yes. I like my job. I like traveling with Daddy. I don't like L.A., and I don't like married men. Why don't you ever give me a chance to explain? I love you, Tiffany. You want to know what I love? I love this drink. No word from the feds on the terrorists. Well, what about the CIA? They're riding shotgun on this deal. Well, I think they may want us to postpone the launch. Now, they don't officially take over security till we leave the country, but they're getting pushy. What's Kevin think? Uh, Kevin's having some personal problems. I know. Well, what do you think? You know as much about Thunderstrike as he does. I say we like that candle. Mm -hmm. Mr. Stevens. My name's Mac Taylor. Oh, Taylor. I understand you've been trying to snoop around my barn. We haven't been able to get through to your office until today. Ah, uh, the FBI is handling the investigation and security at this time. Mr. Taylor's group takes over from the feds once we're en route to Guam for the test phase. Well, what the hell you got your ass in a nod for, boy? They got the barn, they didn't get the cattle. Well, look there, partner. We think Owen Cantrell might be gunning for you. So, Dad Gummon, why don't you just think of us as the cavalry? Sir, we have reason to believe they may have taken something from your lab prior to the explosion. The FBI retrieved black box video from one of the security cams. Uh, even if that's true, all they got was a Thunderstrike control unit. And that piece of hardware is useless without the software package. Without the brains, you can't control the Thunderstrike satellite. And that piece of software is safe here in L.A. till we are on that plane. Well, maybe they got a plan to get the software. Now, if I was Wyatt Earp here, I'd be real concerned. Hey, I got plenty of enemies, always have. But hear this, Thunderstrike goes up at dawn. I got a speech to make, if you'll excuse me. Nice suit. Making friends wherever you go, Taylor. Look, Ewing, CIA is on that plane. The operation is shut down, and that is straight from Washington. You got that? Oh, that'll be fine. As long as it isn't you. And you planning on leaving her? Leave her? I was gonna tell you. I would never respect you if you did. Look, you want to know what sucks about my life? Is that after learning what a shit you really are, I still love you. Well, this is a big moment, Doctor. Are you excited? I suppose. Listen, Buck wants you to join him on stage. You do it. You always wanted the credit, you go ahead. Ken, pick yourself up off the floor and go help Daddy. I'll be right back. Ah, sorry I had to break up the party. <laughs> Work, you know. And, uh, 
By the way, I'm not married. I'm not surprised. <clears throat> Wendy Robbins, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. You've come to the right place. Trying to bust bug for making moonshine, or are you drinking all the evidence? It's very cute, Taylor. We're tracking a group of illegal arms buyers. Russian mafia, I think, maybe Balkan. What's that got to do with your man Buck? We think they're in the market for Thunderstrike. <laughs> oh, hell, they can't afford it. No one can except for that old bastard up there. Nice talking to you. I'd like to uh, dedicate this little gathering to the fine men and women that died in the attack on our lab. Now, together with the FBI and the CIA, we're going to find out who blew up our lab, and we're going to kill them. But tomorrow morning, Thunderstrike flies into the sky on that shuttle, on schedule. Y'all want to hear something funny? Well, back in the 80s, they canceled the Star Wars missile defense program. You know why? Well, they said it was because they didn't have enough money. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot simpler than that. They just didn't have Buck Stevens. <laughs> and now Dr. Kevin Thomas, the man that built this weapon. Dr. Thomas. Thank you, Buck. Thank you, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, the guardian of our children's future, Thunderstruck. Thunderstrike began its journey into space today, blasting off onboard shuttle Atlantis. A series of tests are scheduled in the Pacific. Space-based laser attacks on decommissioned ships. Kineato. What? Well, it's just like those H-bomb uh, tests at uh, Bikini Atoll in the 50s. It sank over 100 Navy ships in that exercise. And an island. And an island. God bless America. Damn, that'll be something to see. I'm glad you're interested. Langley says they want you to escort Stevens and his people to Hawaii. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell's going on? This is Max Gig, sir. I'm just supposed to monitor security from here. Buck Stevens doesn't want Mac in that flight. Well, I don't give a rat's ass what he wants. Look, this is a joint military-civilian project. Very touchy. Stevens Corporation has requested a more diplomatic escort. Jim's all we got. This is bullshit. This is Langley, and I do what they tell me to do, and so do you. Fine, Sam, fine. You want me to be more diplomatic? You just tell me which one of his ass cheeks to kiss and I'll get right down to it. You're too late. Jim's already set. What, what, what are we carrying? Strike software. Handful of computer disks. A milk run. Yeah, it's nothing. David, would you come in here, honey? How about a hot bath with me? You know I'm flying Mr. Stevens to Hawaii. He's going to call any minute. Uh-oh. This suite must have cost you a fortune. This is a special occasion. Mm, tell me more. Karen, I know we've only known each other a few weeks, and uh, I said I can't afford to get serious. Do you have something to say? A friend got me an offer from a major airline. A regular schedule, big money, big things. For us. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Will you marry me? Mrs. David Rogers. Yes! 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 Who the hell is that? Who is it? Rich. Sneaky, rotten. 
I believe the gentleman ordered these. <laughs> Karen, Rich Layton, my backup pilot. We've met. He's dying now. He'll know about it in 10 seconds. He'll be dead in less than 30. You'll get the rest when you land the plane. It's if I land the plane. This isn't going to be enough money. This is a very dangerous sort of landing that you folks want me to pull off. Take it as a down payment. We'll double it at the other end. No, that's not good enough. I want triple the money. All right. It's only money. Damn fine job, Court. Now all we need is the software. You'll get it. You paid for it. Better than Stevens. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Now, where's my money? I'm very impressed with your efficiency. I hope you'll think about joining our little crusade. Crusade? <laughs> what the hell are you crusading about, Owen? Have you met my guy? So I'm thinking you boys must be pretty worried about someone stealing Thunderstrike. And what makes you think we're worried? Well, that's your fifth cup of coffee. And you're risking congressional inquiry by operating on U.S. soil. Well, we don't officially take control of Project Security until the Stevens team's en route to Hawaii and Guam. You know, Agent Taylor, you look a little worried. Got a few more lines on your face today. Uh, that's old age, hypertension, the silent killer. I think that lab explosion is tied into a possible theft of Thunderstrike technology. I can place buyers in the U.S. who have a motive. You have no hard evidence. So you're confirming that line of investigation? I'm not confirming anything. You want something from me, you give me something in return. We have an informant inside Stevens Corp. The informant has mentioned a possible connection between someone in the company and our group of foreign buyers. Give me the name of the informant. What do I get? Dinner. My house. Strictly business. I don't have time for sex. <sighs> mm. Oh, that is unbelievable. Secrets in the sauce. What, you study gourmet cooking? Yeah, right. Actually, I studied mechanical engineering. I wanted to build airplanes. That was my nanny's recipe. Ooh, a little rich boy. Rich and spoiled. That's probably why I flunked out of engineering school and joined the Army. And then the agency grabbed me. Quite a career track. You should be so lucky. I think that's the whole point of this dinner. I want to move up. I tie up this investigation, I get to jump a few rungs. So what do you want from me? I've got buyers. Who's the seller? We think it's Owen Cantrell. Son of a bitch. So it is Thunderstrike they're after. Is he inside the country? I want you to give Sam a call tomorrow. He's going to give you limited access to the files on Thunderstrike. And you give me what I want. Who's the informant? He's a pilot. Well, let's go meet him. You can't do that. He's flying Buck Stevens to Hawaii tonight. Who's the CIA sending? It's a guy named Carpenter. He's a widower. Wife and kid aided in a car accident. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's very nice. So they send a grief-stricken widow. It was three years ago. Now, he's got no life. He lives for his job. 
Which means he would die for you. Of course, we'd all die for you, sir. Makes me feel real warm and cuddly. Yeah. Your itinerary, Buck. Thank you. Judy! You're about ready to pop. I'm just seven months, Dr. Ewing, but I guess I have been eating for two. Yeah, word of the wise. After that, baby, I get the weight off quick. See you on a plane, Buck. Yeah, you betcha. Oh, Judy, you're just pretty as a picture. Here, have a seat. Uh, one minute, I want to beat traffic. I need you to go with me. Oh, no, 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 I can't do that. I've got too much to do at home. Judy, you got two months before that young man comes knocking to get out, and I need my best personal assistant with me in Hawaii. Buck, I, I haven't packed. I, I can't. Oh, hell, Judy, the company will buy you a whole new wardrobe in Honolulu, maternity size, but you? I have commitments. What, you got a date? You mind telling me what the real problem is? Buck, I have another job. I need the money. In your condition. Do you think I set out to be a single mom? Uh-uh, I just got lucky. And your HMO doesn't cover a pre-existing condition. I haven't been here long enough. Judy, you have become the best that I got. And you can just quit that other job, you understand? Consider your salary doubled. I'll take care of the insurance, so get your butt down on that plane. There's a nice sandy beach waiting for you. And your passenger. Thank you, Buck. I don't know what to say. Say aloha. 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 Copies on the table. Thanks. Tastes like money. It's like a flying sports bar. <laughs> yes. And you must be Judy Campbell. Now, just how in the hell would you know that? Jim Carpenter. I'm the CIA liaison on this flight. I've read everyone's files. Except his. Or hers. Mm. I better make sure everything's ready for Buck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, from what I hear, he doesn't need anything but the bar. Oh, man. What a character. You have no idea. Huh. Well, it looks like they oversold the flight. In which case, I may have to sit next to you. At least until we take off. Well, all right, then. Buck wants the bar open when he gets here. Yeah, I do it myself, but uh, all tied up. Would you mind? I know it's not part of the job description. Unless you want to carry this damn thing around. I could use a drink. Double check that landing light, huh? Hey, guys. You must be Miss Kenner. Yeah. Where's Dave Rogers? I'm Rich Layton. I'm Dave's backup. Dave's got a little flu bug today. You're kidding. I've never known Dave to be sick a day in his life. The last time I saw him, he was flat on his back. Oh. Well, we go way back. I was just looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, maybe next time. Well, call me Cindy. Okay, Cindy. I better go check on the passengers. Where the hell's my whiskey? Ah, Cindy Lou. Damn glad to see you back, just like old times, huh? Thanks for hiring me back. I'm sorry about your divorce. I'm not. Catch you later. You just can't seem to keep your hands off him, can you? Look, I never meant to cause your family any pain, Tiffany. Really? Then what are you doing on our plane? I'm working for Mr. Stevens. Really? I heard that that pays really well if you're limber enough. Tell me, do married men tip better? I don't know. 
I hear your married man's coming on board. Let's ask him. Ah, uh, this must be the secret agent. Hey, have you met Judy? She's unattached. Well, sort of. Don't hardly look pregnant. Why, y'all are most kind, Mr. Stevens, and full of horse manure. <laughs> oh, she's a feisty one. Best assistant I ever had. Name your poison. Straight bourbon. And give Judy anything she wants here, just as long as it's virgin. <laughs> and a shot of tequila for the secret agent here. Oh, no, sir. I'm working. Well, according to Langley, you're working for me, so drink. Fuck, come on. If he doesn't want to drink, he doesn't want to drink. No, shut up and give it to him. Well, here's to it. Cheers. All right, that'll do it. Hey, man, you got a fresh pot of coffee on the burner if you want some. Oh, man, I like my coffee cold. You know that. Hey, where's that Stevens jet going? 747's heading to Honolulu, baby. Nice night for it, huh? It's clear as a friggin' bell. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to get sweaty palms. Have them roll the tractor. Unhook us, boys. She dump you yet? Excuse me? She ought to, you son of a bitch. You don't diddle with my daughter, boy. You got a wife back east. Dad, I can diddle with whoever I want. And it's not gonna be you. <laughs> Boy, she sure takes after her mama. Woo. Look, Buck, I'm sorry. I know it looks like I'm taking advantage of your daughter. Hey, hey, she's a grown woman. She makes her own way. If you want to fool around with her, that's okay with me. I just pity the poor son of a bitch who wants to marry her. Well, that would be me. Stevens 747, this is L.A. Tower. You are cleared for taxi, runway 6. Roger, Tower. On your own natural breath. In. Out. In. Out. You're good at this. I didn't take the classes. I had some experience. Again, breathe in. And now. You have a kid? Uh, no. No kids. Not anymore. Oh my god, are, are you in labor? Hell no. I'm practicing. Steven 747, this is LA Tower. You are clear for takeoff. You have the ball. Roger Tower. Next stop, Waikiki. Rev them up.
Taylor. Mac. The informant's we'll dead. The pilot. Yeah, go Someone else is flying that plane. Can't drop. Unscramble. Their pilot's dead. Our pilot wanted more money, so I had to make sure that he got some. We'll get it back from him. What about the buyers? They've arrived in country and gone to ground. We'll dig them up after the rendezvous. Perfect. Next transmission, 0200 hours. Get some rest. You've had a busy day. Just leaving a trail of broken hearts. Who is she? My corporate raider. You trust her? I trust her to do the wrong thing for the right price. Like we all do about that time. We're at our cruising altitude of 29,000 feet. Should get us into Honolulu in time for sunrise. Please feel free to wander the cabin at your leisure. Join me for a drink, Doc? No, thanks, Buck. Look, sooner or later we'll have to talk. Well, would you like to discuss the itinerary? Ask Judy. She has all the paperwork. I want to discuss this relationship. <laughs> and which relationship would that be, Kevin? The one with your wife? We've been separated for three years. Separated? What? Why wouldn't you tell me? I've been trying. My wife left me a long time ago. She's another relationship. We'll divorce the next month. You know, I think I will have that drink with Buck now. Excuse me. Set me up, Dad. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> we'll be down soon. Don't you tell anybody. Never. Having fun, Frank? Always. You? Help yourself. Okay. Let's go ahead and put her on autopilot. Roger, switching to autopilot. Yeah, stretch my legs. Uh... What's that uh, level on number four there? Flight deck, please. Oh, my God, the engine's on fire. We have major fuel loss, and number four is on fire. What's wrong with Jack? I don't know. He just keeled over. Why don't you check him out? He's dead. My auxiliary fuel's gone as well. I'm on fumes. Go get the passengers ready for an emergency landing. I'm going to have to ditch. Move it! Cargo Bay. We're gonna have to ditch. 
Make sure everything's secure in the hold. Ditch. Shit. Oh. What the hell is going on here? There's an engine on fire. Take your seat, Buck. We have to land. Take your seat! The fire's out! But we're losing altitude, so stay calm. We're going to have to make an emergency landing. Please take your seats as quickly as possible. Listen up. We don't leave without the cargo. We don't leave without the passenger. Court, this is the bridge. She should drop off radar any second. Okay, boys. It's time to take a boat ride. Stealing 747, this is LA Control. We've lost you on radar, over. Yeah. Bill, yeah. Bill, come here. What's the matter? The Honolulu yeah. flight just dropped off radar. What? All right, log the time, the last known position vector. Folks, we have a code 99. Oh, Keep shouting. Stealing 747, this is LA Control. This is LA Control, over. This is 747 to Carpathia. Approximate point of impact is longitude 150, latitude 30. Uh, affirmative, we're on our way. Steady on, sweet thing, come on. I'm too young to die like this. Come on, it's gonna be okay. Emergency lights come on automatically. <coughs> Unbuckle and move to the exits quickly. Flotation devices will automatically expand at all main exits. Let's get out of here. Give me a hand. Now. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. We're sinking. Oh my god. We're sinking. Are we under?
the water's at the door. Is there another way out of here? The cockpit. Let's go upstairs. I can't deploy the emergency beacon. I think the mechanism jammed on impact. What about the radio? It's dead. Can they find us? I don't know. Maybe with the uh, radar traces, but let's not give the passengers anything more to worry about, all right? The plane was lost on radar about 20 minutes ago. That gives us a 230-square-mile grid to cover. Oh, the Navy has a battle group in the region. They're moving in to support rescue op. They're not going to find much in the dark. Yeah. Who? ATF? Mac, an ATF agent named Robbins? This is Mac. It's down, isn't it? No comment. Listen, you didn't get much for your trade, so I thought I'd try and make it up to you. The pilot mentioned something about a girlfriend. He gave me her name and an address up on Mulhall near Benedict. Meet me there in half an hour. Why? There is no girlfriend, and the house belongs to something called Marsh Ocean Industries. Now, we can tie that to Owen Cantrell. Maybe he knows where that plane went down. Okay. Give me the address. signals from the plane? No, not yet. I'm setting up search planes to monitor this grid. I want you to keep in touch with them. Give me any and all updates. Once they narrow it down, I want a night vision search of these three grids by 0600 hours. If there's anybody alive, you think they have a chance, sir? If they are, it's because they're trapped in a 747 at the bottom of the ocean. What do you think, Lieutenant? Hello? Give me LA control. Some US Navy captain, line one. How can I help you, sir? I'm afraid all I can give you is their last known position. They just dropped off the radar screen. At this point, the most important thing for us to do is to stay calm. Hey, I'll stay calm when you get us the hell out of here. Easy, Buck, easy. We're only down about 100 feet. That's not enough water pressure to crack the fuselage. Our air purifier is still working, so as long as we have battery power, we can breathe. So, um, Cindy's gonna pass out life vests. I, I would ask that each of you put them on right away. Well, what makes you so sure that somebody's coming to help us? All flights are tracked by uh, radar and satellite every 12 seconds, and we've already released an emergency beacon. What happens when they find us? They send divers in to get us. All we have to do is wait. We'll be rescued before we're even missed. I promise. Oh. 
pretty pickle, huh? <laughs> oh. What is it? Oh. I don't know. Uh, come on, help me, help me. Come on, don't be shy. You've done this before, right? Yeah, well, it was another lifetime. <sighs> okay. What do, you, what do you think? Oh, the good thing is you're not too tense. It's not too tight, that's good. I don't know. Maybe a tiny bruise. You're not feeling contractions. I don't know. That was quick. Too quick. This isn't a rescue party. They were waiting for us. Did you bring a gun? You? Keep your ears open. Gentlemen, let's go. Are they bringing the rest of my money? You are going with us to the exchange. Now, after we demo Thunderstrike for the buyers, they pay us, then we pay you. No, no, that was not my agreement. Do you want to stay here? Stay. Don't move, Captain. All right, Ewing. I don't want money. I want answers. Who the hell are those guys out there? Hello, gentlemen. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Likewise. What the hell is going on here? Oh, howdy, Buck. Welcome to my hostile corporate takeover. Court? Are you a worthless son of a bitch? Easy, easy, Buck. He'll kill us all. Eventually. Yeah. But you want Ewing in his black box, and I've already got him, so why don't you swim back on out? What are you gonna do, shoot him? On a plane at the bottom of an ocean? There's a lot of soft tissue here. I'm kinda close. <gasps> and so am I. You miserable piece of horse shit. But please. There are ladies present. Hey, Kev, bet you wish you would have traded me, huh? <laughs> You'll never live to spend what they're paying you. Why don't you let me worry about that? They'll kill you just like the pilot, you idiot. You bastards! Come on. Okay, that's enough small talk, okay? Get you into his dive gear. We gotta get out of here. You ladies and gentlemen, have a nice evening. And by the way, I wouldn't try to follow me because 
a small hole in this big old plane and let a whole lot of water in. See ya. Dumbest son of a bitch in Texas. You got company, Buck. I was a triage nurse in Desert Storm. Oh, that's good. You're losing blood, but not as much as you should be. Yeah. Well, I'm not feeling too great. Tiffany, can you get me the first aid kit? It's the second locker near the cockpit door. I don't have the time or the gear to get the bullet out. I think we're gonna have to leave it in. Well, hey, what do you know? Maybe he's plugging me up. I think so. That's fine. You know, things are not too bad. See if we can't find you some good drugs. Okay. I want to stay alert, all right? Anything yet? They picked up some shadows. Nothing they could pinpoint. They're loading the sonar gear into my chopper right now. We find something. We send a team in. And how long will that take? Two hours. Maybe more. That son of a damn. We need to narrow the search area. Otherwise, we just wait for daylight. I don't think they've got that much time. Has it been a productive morning? Uh, very productive. Tell the buyers we're on our way. They're very anxious to get down to business. Damn it. What's the problem? We're blown. Iverson Mountain Village. Benedict Canyon, bring in the helicopters. Helicopter?
their only hope. Now what are we gonna do? What's that? It's her cell phone. I think she was talking to Cantrell aboard a salvage ship. If we follow the satellite downlink, we might be able to pinpoint the location of that plane. I need a schematic and diagram for a Boeing 747. Yeah, you think you can do that? What for? I'm going swimming. Everything okay? Okay! You know, for a while back there, I thought you were gonna kill me too, Court. Now we need you to push the buttons to impress the buyers. Yeah, we'll kill you later after the check clears. Wanna get the door? Not a problem. Here we go. Oh, I, I got her. I want to be near Jim. There you go. Try to relax. Where's Miss Campbell? How's Judy? You can ask her yourself. She's right there. Hey, Jim. I don't know about you, but I feel great. Hey, it's just a matter of time until they spot that signal beacon, then we'll get your cute little butt out of here. We didn't fire the beacon. I think Leighton did something to it. It wasn't working. He asked me not to tell anybody. You lied? Hell, we're dead. He told me not to worry the passengers. Worry? Wait. Does the cockpit still have power? I think so. Can you show me? I'll be back. All right, good. This way, Kevin. Watch your step. Well, this wasn't on the itinerary, boss. How come? Well, if I let you know everything, it makes me a pretty dull boy. Huh? <laughs> you hanging in there? Yeah. You? Yeah. Um, oh, thanks. Thanks. That helps. Give me an update, Nick. Tell me you got a fix on that plane. No. I do not, sir. Damn it. Take it around again! Contractions. No, 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 it's too early. I'm, only, I'm only seven months. It, it can't be. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Now tell me the truth. Um, I, I need to check on Kevin. Can you hang on just a little bit? I'll come back and, and I'll do a quick exam. Cindy, you're a bad liar. Machine premature labor? I think so. God help us, I think so. <sighs> Did you fix it? Yeah. He just disabled the switch. What was that? Well, it could be the beacon. Maybe they fixed it. That's it. There it goes. It's on its way. Let's go. We released it. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't know if it's going to work. I put good money in it. It damn well better work. Anything you say, Buck. Come on. Where the hell are you? Sir, I'm picking up an emergency beacon. Hallelujah. Where the hell you been? Hey, take it down for a closer look! Let's go! Roger that, sir. Captain Masters, you've located the aircraft. Good work, Nick. Watch that, sir. Thank you. How much oxygen have we got left? With the residual power in the main cells gives us maybe two hours. Is that enough time for a rescue? I sure hope so, Buck. I'll be damned. Owen Cantrell. And how the hell is she still alive? Mr. Taylor, did you get any sleep on that plane? It looked like you could use a good cup of coffee. No, thank you. I spent the flight going over those 747 specs. I've been up for 24 hours now. About the same amount of time as those people in that plane. This is Lieutenant Nick Stewart. With the SEALs, you'll lead the dive team. Well, let's get started. We've located the plane on a ledge about three nautical miles from here. Depth, about 100 feet. So how do we get them out? We were going to use a DSV, that's a mini-sub, to pull them out. But our engineers tell us the 747's outer skin's too soft to give us a good seal. We're going to have to swim them out. Swim them out? We're at the drop point. All right, let's go! to hear from him. This is where he's coming from. It's very cold. What? Where's this come from? What the hell does that mean? It means the compartment's completely flooded. What's inside? The air purifier. Can you get it? Shark? There's sharks out there! Oh, that's all we need. How long do you think? Maybe 30, 40 minutes before the air is toxic.
What is it? Her water's broken. <sighs> Fill your tanks, take them off. Lieutenant Stewart, U.S. Navy SEALs. Welcome aboard. You sure are a sight for sore eyes, I can tell you that. Any injuries or casualties? Are you a doctor? Yeah. We need you up front. I shouldn't listen to you. I didn't. Yeah, I know. I gotta talk to Jim. What happened? Well, he's got a bullet in him, but it's not deep. Someone's dressed this already. I think he's in shock. I'm not in shock. I'm dead. Go check on Mrs. Campbell, please. Hi, Miss Campbell. Yeah. I'm Dr. Winslow. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I feel like shit, Doc. Yeah, you're doing great. How far apart are the contractions? I don't, I don't know. Uh, five minutes? About a minute each? Hey, Mac. Give me in. Easy. Come here. Yeah. Jim, what's the situation? I did it. I crashed the plane on purpose. Got the damn software. The pilot was in on it. So was Ewing and Court. Court? I thought Court was dead. Yeah, well, so did I. That's that's what I was told. Where are they? They left during the night. They got at least two hours on your pal. They say where they're going. Guess they're meeting some buyers, taking some bids. They're gonna sell Thunderstrike. You know it. So you're short on oxygen? We're open to see in both cargo bays, and the main power cells are flooded. I'll be back, okay? Keep breathing. Doc, Jim's lost some blood. The crash must have kicked Miss Camel into early labor. Now, that baby needs to come out, and soon. So get to it. Well, I can't do it here. We're not far from the first stage of carbon monoxide poisoning. What are we supposed to do? Leave them behind? No, of course not, but they aren't going to swim out of here. Maybe they don't have to swim. What if we bring the plane up? We don't have cranes and chains for this kind of salvage. You have flotation pontoons, right? Right? So we just attach them to key points on the plane, inflate them, and the plane goes right up. And the plane breaks apart underwater if the balance is off. Well, make damn sure the balance ain't off. This is SEAL Team 3. Go ahead, Nick. We found six passengers alive. Two with serious medical conditions, over. I copy, Nick. Captain, we have a problem and a solution. I don't think you're like either one. Try me. All right, all right, Agent Robbins. What's the deal? My team controls the op. Simple. I can't sign off on that without higher authority. In this case, I am the higher authority. I have the address. OK. OK, you win. What's your location? Iverson Mountain Village.
Okay. You're doing great. Glad to see you're dating again. Yeah. And she's trying to get in for free. Parker, you're on number one. Thompson, grab number two. Okay, take it on down. Anybody who can, get to your seats. Push, girl, push! Seventy-five feet, sir. Push now, this is it. Target sighted. Come on, Judy. Keep pushing.
the boat! Regrets for your father. Welcome aboard. It's good to be here, sir. Thank you. Agent Carpenter, need to see you in the debriefing room. Right away, sir. You can only do your best, right? And you two, you two are wonderful. on the way, Doc. Captain, thank you so much for saving us. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Good work, Taylor. Thank you, sir. Mother and son are doing just fine. How's Jim? He'll make it, but another few hours in that plane. Yeah. I know. Hell of a job you did down there, Taylor. The lieutenant tells me you did our SEAL rescue team credit. Thank you, Captain. But my job's a long way from being over. Got all the computer codes you'll need to shut Thunderstrike down. Just follow it step by step. Will I need anything else? Just a lot of luck. I wonder if you're as good in bed as you are at your wheel. Mr. Drago, mm -hmm. bite me. The ultimate weapon designed by man and God. It's as if God himself has provided us with the lenses to make Thunderstrike the ultimate weapon. The beam can vaporize an entire city within seconds. Now, this way, gentlemen, please. We go around this way. All right, Taylor, I control the op. In your dreams.
Of course you do, Wendy. We're just here to provide backup. Let's go. All right, guys, follow me. Don't say a word. The owner of this weapon will control the world, whether he likes it or not. And for the right price, gentlemen, that could be you. We will expect a demonstration. Of course. And we expect to see your credentials. Now that I would fuck. Welcome to the wide world of capitalism. Target. Does it really matter? I'm trying to pick something close so you can see the fireball. It's always the fun part. You ever been to San Rosita? No. Oh, pity. Status. The firing codes are locked in the hard drive. But he took the software, and the satellite will still fire. Can you shut it down? I think so. Well, it needs time.
That's it. Why'd you stop? Well, that's it then. Without a control system, Thunderstrike's just another useless satellite. Yeah, until somebody builds another one. Quite a mess you made here. Mess I've made. I think I had a little help. This was an ATF operation, remember? Officially, we're not even supposed to be here. <laughs> You're such a bastard. I'm not the best. Max the bastard. I'm just his enabler. I'll let you two work that out. Well, that's Mr. Bastard to you. Rich and spoiled. I have a minute to talk to you about that. Oh, yeah? My nanny's got some recipes.